Hello everyone, my name is Marta Montoya. For this lesson, we will be going over one of the most iconic posters to come out of World War II, which was a Rosie Riveter, We Can Do It poster. This poster was aimed to encourage women to take on jobs that were before considered men's work, such as manufacturing. According to the National Museum of American History, artist J. Howard Miller produced the work incentive poster, known as the Rosie Riveter, for Westington Health Electric and Manufacturing Company. The poster celebrated female patriotism. During World War II, while many men fought overseas, manufacturers turned their attention to women. Women were now encouraged to take on jobs in fields such as automotive manufacturing, working in shipyards, and other fields typically held only for men. According to a publication of the New York University News during World War II, it is estimated that women constituted between one-third and one-half of the workers employed by many industries were typically men outnumbered women. Over the years, the Rosie Riveter poster became a symbol of women's empowerment and patriotism. It was used during the women's suffrage movement as a symbol to represent women fighting for the right to vote. Today, it is even used by presidential candidate Hillary Clinton for her run for office. Well, that's all the time we had for today. Hope you enjoyed learning about one of the more iconic posters of World War II. To me, it's really amazing to see how something that came out to encourage women to join the workforce also turned around and it became a symbol of women's empowerment, encouraging women the fight for women's right to vote and leading on to the tumble effect of that. See you next time uh, where we learn about one of the other propaganda posters of World War II.